Hey guys, welcome back to Power Apps Learning Channel. I hope all of you are staying home and staying safe in this pandemic impact. Uh, today we are going to talk about a crucial point which is sending uh, auto reminders for your approval actions. So there is no default configuration available in the approval action in Power Automate to send the reminders. So we'll be looking at uh, different approaches. Uh, so let's begin. So uh, when you look for the solution for this, uh, you will find few of the options. Uh, I've just pointed those here also. One is you can create a parallel action uh, for your approval action, add a delay in that. And after that delay, let's say after 24 hours, or after 48 hours, you can just get the item and check the status of the item. And if it is not, if the any action is not taken, you can just send uh, uh, another email to the approver. The other uh, approach is you can create uh, another flow. So through the parallel action, you can call that flow. And in that flow, again, you have a wait or delay action. And again, check the status and send the Outlook email. So what I found is in both of these approaches, you are actually not sending the approval action notification to the user. So you're just sending a normal Outlook email from where user can't take action. So to take the action, user needs uh, the approval action notification. So what I thought is let's try a different way. So I, I tried using do until loop and that's the approach we are going to talk about in this video. So with this do until loop, we will be able to send the approval action notification again to the user so that user can take action from it. So I'll just brief of what we are planning to do here and how it will work. So what you need to do is you need to decide uh, after how many days you need to send the approval reminder to the approver. Accordingly, you need to set some properties to your approval action and as well as to the do until loop. So let's say uh, we need to uh, send a reminder after two days. So you can set timeout to the approval action of two days. So after two days, the approval action will get expired. And for the do until loop, and depending on how many reminders you want to send, let's say you want to send almost 10 to 15 reminders. So, so two into 15 is like 30 days. So depending on that, you can set the limit of do until loop also so in, in this case what example we are talking about is our do until loop will be valid till 30 days so it will keep running till 30 days and then there is option to set how many times do until loop will run so by default it is 60 you can change it to maximum 5000 so there, there are these time configurations which we need to do uh, will will when we switch to flow i'll tell you more about it so once the timeout is reached for your approval action, the flow will move to next step, right? So there we will check whether user has really responded to the approval action or this is a timeout action. Depending on that, we will decide to rerun or to continue with this do until loop or to break. So we are just making use of simple variable and setting the value to it, depending on whether it is timeout or whether user has really responded to the approval uh, notification. So let's switch to the uh, flow. So this is just simple flow. I have just added a manual trigger uh, here. We are using this uh, variable, which is set to in progress by default. And we are using this uh, do until loop. Now in this, uh, the action or do until loop will run till the value of this variable is action taken. Okay, so till that time, this will this loop will run. So as the current value is in progress, the loop will continue to run as many time as it is possible. Now next is your uh, approval action. So before that, let me just show you the limits of do until loop. So I have uh, keep it kept it as 60 only by default. So this is enough for me. 
and the timeout action is timeout uh, is I have set it to 30 days. So this is the specific format which I'll give you some examples. So here also you will see some examples like 24 hours. This is ISO 8601 format where you know to specify P for period, T for time, M for minutes, uh, H for hours, D for days. So you can see this uh, 5 minutes, 24 days or 24 hours, 2 days, 5 days. So we have set this uh, do until loop to run till or valid till 30 days. Now next is your approval action. Okay. Now let's go to the settings of approval actions. So in the settings, we have set the timeout. So this timeout, I have set it to a value after which you want to send the reminder. So in my case, I wanted to set it uh, for the five days, but here just for the demonstration, I have made it, made it five minutes. So P for period, T for time, five is value and M for minute. So this, this approval action will be timed out after five minutes. So if the approval approval responds back within five minutes, that is good. So we will come to know that approver has responded. Otherwise, this action will be timed out and we will check in the next action what has been happened. So in the next action, which is a condition, so I'm checking the outcome of previous action, which is our approval action. So if you see this out outcome of this is not empty okay or if it is empty so empty is equal to true so that means we are checking whether the output of previous action is empty so what does that mean if it is empty that means it has timed out if it is not empty that means user has responded back okay so another uh, thing what you need to do is you need to set the run after let me just so you need to configure this condition action to run after the previous action has been successfully executed or timed out because we need to track both the uh, options whether user responded back or it has been timed out so you need to select both so that the next action which is a condition action will run and by checking this we'll come to know whether user has responded or was it a timeout now depending on whether it was timeout or whether user had responded so when i say it is empty that means it was timeout so i'm setting the value to no action yet and if it is not empty that means user had responded either it is approved or reject so i'm setting it to action taken once it is set to action taken and if you go back on top so the loop will break here okay but if it is not taken which is no action taken so loop will continue and what will happen it will send another uh, approval notification so it will start another approval instance and send the notification to the approval so let's uh, give it a try i will just run this flow and i'll show you how it works so let me know you, you just try it for your real time scenarios where you need to set it for two days five days or 10 days and let me know if it is really working i have just tried it uh, a day back and i have set it or i have tested it with the hours and minutes limits only so let's just run this flow and i'll just show you the notification how it comes so i have just ran this flow and you can see this do until loop is now waiting and i'll just show you i just got the flow notification or approval notification so if you see this uh, so this is the notification now the flow has already started now it is waiting for uh, the user to respond back or to uh, or that let that approval action get timed out so now let's do one thing let's wait for five minutes and let's see if we get uh, another uh, approval email as a reminder okay so let's wait for five minutes i'll just pause the video and i'll resume it again
so this is our first uh, notification what we got which is at 11:21 and let's see if we get another notification after 5 minutes which is uh, another reminder to the approver to take the action so as you can see now the flow is running uh, for 5 minutes almost and i have already got another uh, notification this was the first one was from 11:21 now it is 11:25 so we got another uh, email a reminder email so and your flow is still running now it is waiting for approval action or it will send another uh, notification email uh, in another 5 minutes so that's how we'll be able to achieve sending uh, auto approval reminders to your approver with the approval action and do until loop so now let's do one thing let's just uh, respond back uh, yes welcome on board and submit so now let's see if the do until loop stops yes it has already stopped and the flow has stopped so as you have seen we have made use of uh, timeout feature then timeout feature for board do until loop as well as your approval action and uh, the limits when do you want to run it the condition the variables setting the value to variable how many times you want to run the do until loop checking the values and setting the values so this way you will be able to uh, achieve sending uh, reminders as many time as you want even you can uh, write your logic or set the variables multiple variables and change the message in the approval action that this is second reminder this is third reminder you can achieve that easily depending on the variable values and once user uh, take action then only the loop will stop and you will be able to move to the next uh, level in your flow uh that's it in this video i hope uh, this will help you guys and do let me know once you try do let me know if you face any issues if there are any limitation with this approach i just give it a try i thought uh, this would be a better option rather than using another uh, approaches where you are just sending a normal outlook email as a reminder so sending this uh, approval action email as a reminder will really help users to take the action So that's it uh, take care see you in next video bye bye